Hey everyone, today we're going to do two different things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to load in the Western Star 57X into Blender and see what kind of masterpiece it is outside of the game. The second thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to manually extract a template from a truck that already has paint jobs available, but you can't get a hold of the template. This works for SCS trucks, as I'll show you with the 57X, as well as some other mod trucks that can have paint jobs, but they just never came with access to the template. So let's show you how to get all that done. All right, first things first, we've opened Blender. I've changed to a test project base path in my G drive over here. So we're going to go ahead and import using converter picks. I want to go ahead and go to the game folder, select base SCS and add that archive to the list. Also, I then want to go to the Western star 57 X. From here, I'm going to want to extract We're going to go to the cabin. If you notice, the 48 inch sleeper is actually in there, but not active in the game. So very curious about what they're going to do with that. So let's look at the sleeper 72 RR. So this is where we're going to get our paint jobs from. Now, when you do this, on the new system, each accessory is separate. It has its own separate paint job, which I will show you here quickly in Notepad++, of course, because it's my favorite program. So Leopard Tracks here. So this one in particular has all these things added to it. This is just the settings of what the colors are when you get into the um, into the paint booth. When you go to app 1D, this is where you actually pick the paint job out of the list. So this one's called APP1 underscore D. So this lists this mask. So this is the TUBJ that's going to list, uh, that's going to go to the specific DDS file that you need for the paint job. And it's suitable for the cabin that we're working with. How convenient. Also, it says app one settings. The other thing that it doesn't tell you is that when you have this, you also have the paint job masks for the individual parts. In this case, bumper paint, day standard. So there's a cab deflector another cab deflector, another cab deflector, the side skirts, other side skirts, this side skirt, and so on. So all of these painted parts need to be listed inside these settings for the paint job in order to work properly. So I will show you a couple of those as well as the cabin itself. So here's the cabin, and we know that because we look up here and we see car paint color. So once we select this, we're going to go to the UV editor. This has three UVs. So one is going to be our template. Because if you notice, two, all the parts except for these two are up here. And zero, there's a lot of cross stitching here or whatever that is so that's too convoluted here that's not quite what we're looking for we're looking for this so that's going to be how you paint this how do we extract that i'm glad that you asked go to uv in the top section here export uv layout and then you want to export it to wherever you're working in this case we'll just put it inside the 57x We'll call it piece one. What size? Uh, 4096 by 4096. 
and the fill opacity means how dark the lines are. So you can put it at 0.5, you can put it at 0.25, that's a personal preference thing. We're gonna export that. Then I will show you what that looks like over here. So now we can paint on this and add it to our paint job. How do you get the parts? Well, in the case of this, I'll have to import the chassis. So, because the bumper is associated with the chassis. So we're gonna also incorporate this. Our base file is still there. I'm gonna select the 57X again. Go to our chassis, remove the collisions, find the bumper right there. Cursor to selected. Now we have to go back in here and import the bumper. We've already got Western Star selected. Uh, sorry, gotta go to accessory, bumper, paint. So now if we go to editing, I'm gonna guess it's either one or two, sorry, zero or one. Looks like there's some stretching done on zero, but I'm gonna say it's this one and you can compensate for the other way. Again, export UV layout. We'll call this bumper just so we know what it's for. Oh, did I export that eight by eight? That would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Yes, I did. So you can do this one a little bit smaller. Like that. And again, there we go. So there's our bumper. So this is how you extract templates from inside the game before you write your before you write your paint jobs like this. You just want to make sure that all of these things, all of the things that can be painted are also applied uh, in here so that you have what you're looking for. In this case, bumper paint is actually a 1024 by 512. So in this case, instead of making it a square, we would have done this. So we'll go here, select bumper, and then go 1024 by 512. It looks more normalized because that's how they wanted it to fit on the page. It was similar to this, not big and bulbous in the middle. So that's how you extract that template. Now I'm curious when they're going to add the other stuff because let's do this. Get rid of all of that. And we can turn all these on and then get rid of all those and then cursor to the origin. So let's look at just for some giggles here. Whoops. I want to see the 48. So there you go. Very, very similar to the Cascadia or the 49X. And I'm going to imagine that the 48 is the same for the chassis. It is, so a little bit smaller. So it's not as small as the day cab one, but it's smaller than the uh, 72 inch. So pretty cool that those are still in there. You could probably, if you can, um, if you can write some SII files, maybe something comes of this. What do you think? Now that you know it's there, can you write SII files? And make this guy show up? Let me know if you can. So here we are with the 57X. Now I'm not going to go through all the bits and pieces because um, 
a good friend of mine went through looking at all the bits and bobs with this, checking out all the accessories, how that all looks together. So if you want to, I'll link his, his video in the description below and you can go check that out. Um, in the meantime, I just wanted to take some time to look over the truck on the interior. Um, I know that most of you have used it already, or some of you anyway. I know a lot of you guys are out there driving and not able to uh, take advantage of seeing these things firsthand. So I just wanted to show you uh, kind of what you're getting in this. Now, the interior looks great. Um, you know, very plasticky, but kind of where we're at with, with, with trucking currently. As you all know, I just want to check my buttons here. So we can turn it on so you can see that. So it's got the full digital dash with the GPS built in. Um, I don't think the full digital da dash is going to be something I invest in trying. I know that it's difficult to um, kind of make those work. I know there are some folks that can do it, so props to them. I don't think it's something that I'm going to get involved in currently. But, I mean, I do like the GPS and dash. That's very cool. Additionally, the... Uh, The kind of animations that go along with the dashboard. Um, very, very slick. I do like how it looks. Um, kind of seeing the needle go up and down there. It's, it's, it's really cool. Um, I, I kind of wish I could do those, but at the same time, I don't because I know they're a heck of a lot of work. It's basically uh, those needles are animated, but they're also on top of a screen that isn't really visible. You have to like kind of draw it uh, and then it's displayed as an image via the dashboard. And then also there's also uh, all those numbers and stuff that you see. Those are things that are built via the dashboard. Some of the other stuff is actually physical pictures. So there's a lot of components there. Uh, and the fact that it all comes together and looks like that is, is really slick. I, I really enjoy that. Um, but yeah, the exterior, again, looks great. Chrome looks great. I mean, the lighting is is fantastic. I love what they what they do with the lights on these, how they go around the the filters there and above the uh the eyebrow lights there. You know, it's just a it's just a clean looking truck anyway. Uh I like that you can remove the side skirts. That's always cool. You can have the single stack up top or underneath. So a good amount of options on this uh makes it kind of fun. I'm curious when they're gonna come up with that 48 inch and then maybe, maybe we'll see some additional configurations. So that's pretty cool. So um, this is really going to be the end of this video. This was just to kind of go over how to extract a template and a quick look at the new 57X. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.